Amazon charges sellers. According to a recent report, seller fees netted Amazon almost 60 billion in 2019, nearly double the 35 billion in revenue from AWS, Amazon's massive cloud computing division. Uh, five years ago, Amazon took an average of 19% of each sale made by a third party on its site. Today, Amazon keeps an average of 30%. Doesn't Amazon's ability to hike those fees so steeply suggest that Amazon enjoys market power over those sellers? Uh, no, Congresswoman, I don't believe so. I think what you're seeing there when you see that go from 19 to 30% is that more and more sellers are taking advantage of the incremental services that we offer. And a big piece of that is fulfillment by Amazon, which is probably the greatest invention that we ever created for sellers. And it's working for sellers. That's why today 60% of sales are going through third-party sellers up from zero 20 years ago. Right, but I think a little more concerning is the 11% hike. Um, since 2014, Amazon's revenue from seller fees has grown almost twice as fast as its overall sales. So seller fees now account for 21% of Amazon's total revenue. Mr. Bezos, aren't seller fees now effectively subsidizing Amazon's retail division? Uh, Congresswoman, no, I don't believe so. I think what you're seeing there, when you see these fees going up, it, the, what's really happening is that sellers are choosing to use more of our services that we make available. They are, you know, previously perhaps they were shipping their own products from their own fulfillment center. So they would have had costs doing that. If you're operating your own fulfillment center and sell and, and 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 buying transportation services to the customer through the postal service or through UPS or, or whoever it would be, okay, you also well, have those talk fees a little anyway, bit about the fulfillment doing that centers. With fulfillment by Amazon. Right. Yes, okay. So right. we've got fulfillment by Amazon, and a year ago we asked whether a merchant who was enrolled in familiar, uh, fulfillment by Amazon, also known as FBA. Um, is a factor in whether they can be awarded the buy box. And at that time, Amazon said no. But the evidence is indicating, and your own documents showing, that being enrolled in that program is a major factor. And it effectively forces sellers to pay for fulfillment services from Amazon if they want to make sales. Mr. Bezos, has Amazon's big buy box algorithm ever favored third-party sellers who buy fulfillment services from Amazon over other sellers? I think effectively the buy box, maybe directly or indirectly, I'm not sure if it's direct, but indirectly, I think the buy box does favor products that can be shipped with Prime. So especially if you're a Prime member, the buy box is trying to pick the offer. If we have multiple offers from multiple sellers for the same item, customer wants to buy that item. The buy box is trying to pick the offer that we predict the customer would most like. That includes I, price, delivery speed, and if you're a Prime member, it includes whether the item is eligible for Prime. Thank and you, so Mr. I think Bezos. I think my time's expired. Okay. Okay. I think my time's expired.